Stop misinforming the international community about the law enforcement operation in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. This operation is not a campaign against the people of Tigray. It is rather to bring to justice the terrorist group called TPLF that tyrannically ruled Ethiopia for 30 years. As a dominant force for nearly 30 years, TPLF committed unspeakable crimes against the people of Ethiopia. Jailed tens of thousands of political prisoners, subjecting them to torture, including rape and sterilization of men. Staged fake election after fake election, winning 100% of the seats in parliament. Robbed the country of its wealth and siphoned off billions of dollars to benefit its leaders and their families, who are living in excessive luxury in the West and the Middle East. Well, dozens of people have been killed in a new wave of anti-government protests in Ethiopia. In 2018, TPLF was removed from power by waves of mass protests. Ethiopia now, where the new Prime Minister, Dr. Abiy Ahmed, has been sworn in. TPLF's removal led to widespread reforms. But TPLF was unwilling to relinquish its hegemonic power. It left no stone unturned to thwart the popular political reform underway in Ethiopia. It instigated and financed ethnic conflict in the rest of Ethiopia that resulted in the death and displacement of thousands of innocent civilians. It held a fake and unconstitutional election in Tigray, in defiance of the federal government's decision to postpone the national election due to COVID-19 pandemic. On November 3, 2020, the TPLF special forces started this conflict by their treasonous attack of the headquarters of the Northern Command of the Ethiopian National Defense Force based in Tigray. They massacred and took thousands of unsuspecting, non-Tigrayan members of the Northern Command, including women who were in their sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they destroyed infrastructure, including the Aksum Airport runway. When the National Defense launched counterattack, the fleeing TPLF forces and an affiliated terrorist youth group called Samri stabbed, strangled, and bludgeoned to death over 1,000 non Tigrayan civilians in the town of Mykadra. These horrendous crimes are documented and reported by Amnesty International and the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission. Well, we start with some breaking news because Ethiopia's Human Rights Commission says at least 600 civilians were killed in a massacre in the northern Tigray state earlier this month. The people of Tigray region are law-abiding and God-fearing people who are proud to be Ethiopian. The operation against the TPLF clique is aimed to bring to justice treasonous criminals and liberate all Ethiopians from the vicious cycle of terror, ethnic violence, and years of bondage by the brutal TPLF group. All Ethiopians are showing unity to help victims of TPLF's atrocities. The country is working hard to rebuild infrastructure and rehabilitate displaced citizens from Tigray, collaborating with international partners. It is mobilizing to provide desperately needed necessities and essential services. It is important to combat and stop the misinformation and disinformation about events in Ethiopia. The truth matters and justice will prevail.